My name's Harry Potter. <laughs> Is the production quality okay? Hey, look. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You got spells, you got Hagrid, you got Quidditch action. What more can you ask for? Let's get into it. Hagrid flies in on his hog to drop off a small Harry Potter to the worst family ever, until the Al Postal Service drops off an invite to Hogwarts. One thing leads to another, and we're joining up with Gryffindor. Gryffindor! And then Dumbledore slides in with a hot scoop. The third floor is out of bounds, and it leads to death. The most painful death. Good to know. Let's get started. We meet up with Big Ronnie, and right away, he's like, Malfoy stole Hedwig. That slimy slithering Draco Malfoy. I'm Draco Malfoy. Aha! <laughs> Come on, Harry, follow me. We follow Ron into a room with Headless Nick, and he teaches us the Flipendo Knockback Jinx. It's pretty much a punch, and it's nice. <laughs> and wait a minute, who's this dark hooded man? I'm very intrigued right now. Anyways, back to business. We finally get the Hedwig to release him, and then he gives me a broom. Hedwig brought you a broomstick. Which means it's time to head to a flying lesson with Madam Hooch. I am Madam Hooch, your teacher. Hooch is also prison wine made in a toilet. Well done, Potter. You've mastered the basics of broomstick control. Now, back inside the school, we meet up with Hermione, and she's very excited for Charms class. Charms class is about to start. She's rather annoying, isn't she? Let's proceed to Charms class. You gotta jump on these tables in a time trial to get there, but whoa! Flitwick's so little. Here we get to learn Wingardium Leviosa. Whoa! In a very Guitar Hero-like process. Wingardium Leviosa! This heat-seeking levitation spell will come in handy going forward. Five points to Gryffindor. Uh-oh. Hagrid alert. Dear Harry, pop around for a cup of tea and a chat. So, as I excitedly go meet up with my good pal Hagrid, Draco pops up once more. He's blocking the door. Wingardium Leviosa! Ow! You're not leaving this castle until I have revenge. It's time for a wizard cracker fight. And I'm not talking about animal crackers in the shapes of wizards. He's no match for me, so he calls in crab. Crab. Mm. Then he calls in Goyle. Goyle. <laughs> and even with the help of these poorly shaped characters, he was still no match for me. Oh. With Draco out of the way, we can head outside to link up with Hagrid. And right away, he's like, You'll need to attend your herbology class. We'll save the tea for later. Welcome to Herbology. You're just in time. In our herb class, Professor Sprout teaches us the Incendio spell, which is super effective against plant types. Incendio! And only now can we finally make our way to Hagrid's hut. And right away he's like, hey, go fetch me some fire seeds. I need them. Might as well go into the wild to get these seeds. And there's a lot of hazards out here for a young man to endure. Hey Harry, you're 12. Go jump over some lava for me. Abusive behavior, but hey look, I found the seeds. Well done, Harry. You found the fire seeds. Now it turns out Hagrid needed the seeds to hatch his dragon egg. I'll call him Norbert. And he repays me with a Quidditch book that I never read or used. I don't know if I could or not. But speaking of Quidditch, Big Ronnie takes me to see the playing field. And then Neville comes out like... Hey! Draco stole my remember all. Go get him, Harry. Come on then, Potter. You damaged my broomstick, Potter. And I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> on top of beating Draco again, Professor McGonagall saw my impressive skills from a distance, and she's like, hey, Harry, you gotta be Gryffindor's new seeker. You're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. I know you'll catch the snitch first. I just know it. Potter's going for it. He caught it. Maximum points for Gryffindor! We won. But save the celebration because Professor Snape pops in and steals my Quidditch book. Is that a library book in your grimy little hand? He thinks I stole it from the library. He even thinks I stole the sloth brain he's looking for. As soon as my missing sloth brain is recovered... surf. A brain that Ron already knows about. His brothers gave him a map to it. It's beyond this rusty door here. Wow! I've opened that rusty door! Hey look, it's the sloth brain. So let's head to the dungeon and give Snape his brain back. And he still hates me. Bring it to class. He's even hating on me in his potions class. Potter, I've never seen such pathetic work. Now as punishment, I gotta go fetch him a jar of fireflies from the other room and... Uh-oh. It's the hooded man. What is he doing with that green stuff? And he claps me into the ground. Alright, I'm in a tough position down here. So many hazards. Throwing C4. And it gets even worse. I gotta jump on some pots over this green sludge. And even sneaking around in the troll's bedroom. Oh, shit, he's coming. And 
then finally we find the jar of fireflies. Give me those fireflies. Snape is so ungrateful. Now we're going to be late for our dark arts defense class, held by Professor Quirrell. This is your d defense against the dark arts lesson. Him and his stutter are so innocent, there's no way he could possibly be up to no good. Good luck, young wizard. Now outside of class, Hermione is going on about some stolen object. She's saying it must be up in the forbidden upper castle. We gotta get up there, but the dungeon exit's blocked by these dark arts eyeballs. We gotta cast them out. Well done. All right, we can get out. To the tower, where Hedwig drops off a parcel for me, and what do you know? Peeves swoops in and grabs it and challenges me to a race across the roof beams. It's a slippery slot adventure that I'll never forget. The parcel happens to be an invisibility cloak passed down by my father. He's dead. This will help us get through the Forbidden Corridor, considering Mr. Filch is patrolling the area. Time to get invisible. I'm steady creeping right now. Looking like Bubble Buddy. And I overhear that Snape has some plans looking to cause a ruckus. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans. Let's follow him. But be careful, there's a cat. And he's very hard to see from up here. That's him. And you gotta be perfect in the entire sequence, or else you're sent all the way back to the beginning. Intruder! Ah! And once we get through, we run into what seems to be a mirror. Uh, you know those things that you can see reflection in? Now I can see my parents somehow. Then Dumbledore pops in with some knowledge, saying it's the mirror of Erised, and it shows your heart's deepest desires. But we're moving its location, Harry, and if you ever come across it again, be prepared. I wonder what's about to come. Speaking of coming, there's a big troll on the loose, and he's running rampant. <sighs> time for an epic troll chase down the hallways and into this bathroom, where Hermione's scared in the corner, but no time to hide. He busts in the bathroom, haven't we all? With amazing teamwork, we KO him with his own weaponry. <sighs> And no time for rest, because we're immediately summoned to a second Quidditch match. Hogwarts second Quidditch match of the year. We're outside of the stadium. Hagrid tells us all about the third floor with Fluffy the dog guarding something top secret that he can't talk about. That's top secret. So like a microwave at the 15 second mark. Things are starting to heat up. We win the match, and right away, Hagrid's waiting outside with some bad news. Norbert the dragon got sick. We need to make him some special dragon tonic. We must head into Diagon Alley to get some heels. We get to the shopping center, and Hagrid's like, you're on your own, pal. I'm off to the pub to get some butter beers. Well, I'm broke, so off to Gringotts Bank to infiltrate the vaults, where we must ride minecarts through epic tunnels to collect three different types of loot. We're talking about bronze canuts, silver sickles, and even golden galleons like you're a max level gold hoarder in Sea of Thieves. It took me a while to learn how to control it, as you can see by me crashing a thousand times, but I got through it and I was able to purchase my three ingredients consisting of a peacock feather from Ollivanders, an eagle owl feather from Ilops Owl Emporium, and some giant purple toad warts from the magical menagerie. Excellent. Well done, Harry. Only now can we heal Norbert, but not so fast, Hagrid. We don't think you should be having a dragon here at the school. We're gonna free it to Romania. Oh, but not so fast again. Malfoy snitched on us for being out past curfew. And now for detention, we're all forced to look for a wounded unicorn in the dark woods. Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. I gotta avoid flaming turtles that change colors and then burn holes in the trees when I kill them, and even man-eating plants looking to dine on me. Hey look, it's the dying unicorn. And the hooded man's eating it. He corners me, and when it seems like the end for old Harry, Centaur Forense swoops in and saves me. He explains that unicorn's blood can save a man that's even an inch from dying. That must mean the mysterious hooded man is Voldemort. Now safely back at Hagrid's hut, he gifts me a handcrafted flute that he made. It can put animals to sleep, like this owl here. Perhaps even Fluffy the dog, the one that's guarding the third floor that happens to contain the magical item that could be the Sorcerer's Stone. Possibly. So with my newly acquired flute, me and the gang link up to do the unthinkable. Go to the third floor. I think someone's making a move to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. Me and the gang run up to the third floor, leading us to Fluffy. Oh, God. Only Hagrid would call this monster Fluffy. We play him a sweet tune to put all three heads to sleep. Now, jumping down into this hatch here, we land in the Devil's Snare. <laughs> Only one thing we can do here. Incendio! Yeah! Okay, what's next? Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Looks like I need this blue winged key surrounded by a bunch of red winged keys. Got it. The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. It seems Ronnie went ahead to play, but he's injured, so I gotta step in. It's up to you now. Anyway, this is probably the coolest part in the game. It's very strategic, but very fun. <laughs> All right, good, we can move on forward. I don't know, there's a big sleeping troll and he's no longer sleeping because he's waking up. We gotta quietly clear the path so we can walk forward and eventually fall in this hole. All while Hermione opens up this door. Looks like you'll have to choose the cup that contains the knight and the shield. Stop! 
Stop right there, criminal! We took the night down no problem, but the problem is, there's only one ice potion, so we gotta go on alone. You'll have to go on alone, I'm afraid. Uh-oh. It's the hooded man. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. And he's doing that green thing again. He's sending night henchmen at me. Oh! They were easy, but then he sends a giant knight at me. Damn you, Potter! Wait a minute! Is that the stuttering Professor Quirrell? What the f*** is he doing right there? I would have never guessed this. Even though I saw the movie. He has the stone. Give me the stone. The Quirrell boss fight has arrived, and he's being commanded by Voldemort on the back of his head. Hand over the stone. Let's kill him. We start off by avoiding his green blasts, and then knocking down some pillars to injure him. You will yield to me, Potter. Phase two, we continue to dodge his attacks while shooting this mirror until he's had enough and charges me. Hey! You'll die begging for mercy. Now I have to tap square really fast to gain energy. My hammer's starting to really hurt here, but I got him. Ah! Voldemort's return is delayed. For now, back at the banquet hall, Dumbledore awards Gryffindor 60 points for my outstanding courage. What a great time. This is the greatest day in my life. I've never been so happy. And that's it. It's a really fun game I finally got to play after replaying the demo disc so many times. If you made it this far, thank you guys so much. Now, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. If you hated it, drop a dislike. If you think my hair is ugly, leave a comment. This has been a Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's slash Philosopher's Stone on PS1. My name is Grandmaster Flash, and this is The Furious Five. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Enemy AC 130, above.